Well, get a cup of tea because it may make you live longer. Who knows? We have a study about that in Newsworthy Clips this month. We have David Morton back with us. Welcome mm -hmm. back, David. So good to be back. Thanks for having me on the show. Where's your cup of tea? That's not tea. Oh, yeah, you're it's right. water. Oh, let me come back. What is your favorite kind of tea? You drink tea, first of all, I right? do drink tea. What's your favorite kind? So I really like oolong tea. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if, um, if it's a special occasion, right, then I really enjoy drinking the poor tea. Ooh. It's super good. And the thing about, like, this special kind of tea is that the more times you brew the tea, mm -hmm. it actually has sometimes a different flavor each okay. time. Yeah. Now, like, you can get it at tea shops sometimes, but if, if you buy just the raw tea leaves, then it can be really expensive. It's almost like wine. Like, oh. like the older the poor, mm. the more expensive it's going I to be. I didn't know that. I'll have yeah. to try that. Bring some in sometime. Yeah. I'll try it. Well, speaking of tea shops, do you have like a favorite drink? You're going to your you know, favorite tea shop around the corner. What drink are you ordering there? Uh, you know, a lot of times I will get anything that has passion fruit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I like fruit. the, especially in the summertime, when I go to the tea shops, I like something that's kind of light, refreshing. So Me maybe too. like a green tea mm -hmm. with some passion oh. fruit thing. Oh, well, love it's it. summertime, so let's go to the tea shop after the summertime. program, all right? Well, David, what do you make of India's plan to attempt another moon landing? We're just talking about tea, but mm. this is newsworthy clips. We're also talking about landing on the moon. This is one of your favorite subjects. What do you think it about is. India's plan? I think it's great. I mean, I think that uh, the, one of the big ways for countries to, to move forward in kind of their global standing these days mm -hmm. is to have a good space program. And I really respect India for not giving up. You know, they had that first attempt at a moon landing mm -hmm. and then their lander kind of crashed, broke up before it was able to land and they couldn't really accomplish their goal. But they got right back in there. You know, they're going to mm -hmm. try again. And each time you try something like that, it just gives you an opportunity mm -hmm. to improve the technology you were using, right? Yeah. So I think, it's, I think it's great. Well, since we're talking about science and the moon and outer space, I just have a question just for fun. Are you ready mm -hmm. for this, David I'm Morton? Ready. What's your favorite sci-fi movie? Oh, yes. No, I love this question. And I immediately know my answer. It is The Empire Strikes Back. Ooh. Yes, episode five of the Star Wars saga. Mm -hmm. uh, it is all about, like, it, it, you know, the, the Rebel Alliance and how they're being chased by the Empire. And then Luke Skywalker finds out that Darth Vader is his father. Oh. And, oh, all of this amazing stuff happens. And in the end, it leaves you with such a sense of hope, you know, that, like, man... Those rebels, they really got beat up, but I know they're going to come back in the next movie, right? It gives you a lot of hope. Well, if you're a Star Wars fan, you can relate. I'm not, so I can't. But thank <laughs> you for sharing that story with us and letting, letting us know what your favorite sci-fi movie is. We hope you enjoy this month's Newsworthy Clips article. We'll see you next time here on Insights.